Welcome back to another match reaction where Manchester United won 3 0 against West Ham United. And I had to witness Garnacho do Mohamed Kunis' celebration. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe uh, if you haven't already. And if you want to see more misery and pain, you're probably going to see that uh, a lot more this season because we have dropped down to seventh now, which, listen, in seventh is not a bad place to be in in the league. Um, at all for West Ham but my worry is that we're not going to be there uh, for much longer I don't think we're going to be in Europe um, at the end of the season and this isn't reactionary if you watch my previous videos you'll know that um, I've been saying this and I'm drained um, it's, it's another rant and I know people are probably sick of seeing that in the title but I, I, I could only just say how how I see things and how I feel in terms of what I think um, in terms of this club and I'm very critical when I when I want to be critical and I'm very happy when I want to be happy when it comes about this club but uh, from the lineup I knew Corne wasn't going to start even though he's the only like winger that left uh, but Ben Johnson right wing I'm a bit 50-50 on. And the reason why I say that is because Ben Johnson, what I've seen in the cameos uh, since he's come back into the team is the guy can drive with the ball. He can get out of situations quite well. What he has improved on is when players get tight to him and wide areas, he can get out of that. But sometimes he overdoes it. And I don't think he can cross a ball still until this day. And speaking of not being able to cross a ball anymore, Vladimir Sufal... Stop these low crosses, please, because they never work. Um, but yeah, with Ben Johnson, he should have just played right back. I know in, he got in an advanced position that probably benefited him, but it didn't benefit the team. Uh, if he had played right back, he would have been fine. Rashford didn't do anything. I turned, uh, fun fact, uh, another game, I turned, I turned the game off as soon as it went to 2-0. No, as soon as uh, Bowen missed that... Uh, well, I guess it was a great block by Dallow, but Bowen took about three years to take that shot. Listen, if we had scored that, I don't think we would have got back into the game. And speaking of not finishing their chances, Emerson, right at the start of the first half. Um, what was that, man? Like, Emerson, I expect a lot more from you, and you haven't been... I can't say you've had a bad game, like a terrible game this season, but because you wasn't bad against Bournemouth, uh, wasn't himself against Sheffield United... But he wasn't great today. I wouldn't say he was that, like, crap. But he wasn't great. It wasn't to his standards. Because he set a high bar already. But that shot, bro. That was awful. That was terrible. Um, I didn't expect anything less. Maybe I, I didn't expect 3-0 today. I expected 1-0. But we haven't scored at Old Trafford in years, man. In the league. I know we scored in the Cup. FA Cup last year. Carabao Cup. A uh, year before. But... In general, our record has been terrible. Sky were mocking it with the timeline doing the years on years of when West Ham have visited Old Trafford and the songs that came out in that year. <clears throat> um, it wasn't as bad as... Um, I think the worst I've seen us at Old Trafford was when Declan Rice was really young, came up against a, a Paul Pogba that was really on form at the start of the season and Romelu Lukaku destroyed us. I think this was Bilic's uh, third full season. Um... The 17-18 season. That was probably the worst I've seen at Old Trafford. From what I can remember. Maybe a maybe 10-11 season. But. Yeah, those two spring to mind. And, um, we started alright in the first half. But it's frustrating to see some of the decisions that I'm seeing. Like, Suchek again was a hologram. And that's a thing I want to get on to. People that work for the club. That talk online and. People that are positive merchants and fake positive merchants um, pretty much are saying you can't criticise Suchek because he scores goals. Uh, just because you score goals, you can be. it doesn't mean you cannot be criticised. That's why Bruno Fernandes gets a, pl gets a blight all the time. That's why Marcus Rashford gets a blight all the time since we're talking about Man United. Now, Bruno Fernandes was good today because we gave him the freedom of the whole Old Trafford. Uh, but Bruno Fernandes in general, when you, he's in a big game, he's not a good player. Marcus Rashford was not good today. But because he scored 20 goals last season, people are like, well, he scored 20 goals last season. So I don't know what the excuses are going to be when he flops again next season for Man United. 
But going on back up, <coughs> excuse me, going on back up, back onto West Ham, Jared Bowen is wasted up front. Um, he doesn't get into the same positions, uh, and he's dangerous off the right wing and was fed no service. A bit like every striker that plays for West Ham up front, like Ings, like Mubamba, like Antonio. But at least Antonio, he suits the system. Like Skamaka was isolated, Haleo was isolated. Like I could go on. Um, and this is just a West Ham thing in general. And I think a lot of people create their own narratives with, do you want good football or Europe? Well, why have you narrowed it down to two? I have no idea. You've created that in your own head. Um, also, I don't want just, uh, I don't know what, I don't know what risk averse means. I'm not going to use that phrase. Uh, but constant risk football. I, I've, I don't want Brighton football, like where the goalkeeper's passing it in between to the midfielder. I don't think you can get to the heights, heights with that. <clears throat> but someone like Ange Postecoglou has rejuvenated Tottenham with his football and he'll probably improve Tottenham as it goes on. Whether they win anything, we don't know. I think you can win stuff with that kind of football with the right players. Um, but Moyes is going to get a new contract. Probably. Um, but let's get on to the... Let's, uh, listen, I'm done with David Moyes. I've been done with David Moyes for about a year now. And I don't think... I don't think... What else can I say about him? No, it's just it's just annoying to see the defense. Uh, so we couldn't moan against Bournemouth because it was a draw, and we and we probably can't moan today because that Old Trafford and we don't win at Old Trafford anyway. So that means it's fine. So uh, these are excuses are very stupid. They have a lot of holes in them. Um, I couldn't name you many good performances this season. Someone did like put out to me about when I asked for ten good performances on Twitter. They actually made a good point about the games that they did put in. Um, as much as I technically disagree with Chelsea, I don't think we're great for the whole of the game against Chelsea. I don't think we're great for the whole of the game against Tottenham. Their wins against Chelsea and Tottenham, so I allow it. I didn't agree with Newcastle at home, but there are other games that I really liked, like Wolves at home, Man United at home, Brighton away, Arsenal away. Those were probably the top four performances of the season, I'd say. Uh, but even Man United at home wasn't fantastic, but we were the better team. Like, um, I had to see Garnacho score against us twice uh Calvin Phillips giving the ball away I saw the goal I had I, I didn't what I wasn't watching the game by then uh but Johnson does put him under pressure but Calvin Phillips needs to do better there he is rusty he is um not played football but I didn't want him at this club I wanted to get behind him but everyone overhyped him because he's English I'm sorry like people just want an English international but not that's why it wasn't Maguire here who by the way gave him with a ball for uh a, a chance that we should have finished and uh, that's why I don't want Harry Maguire, because that's what he's like. And despite him being decent this season, he still proves my point with how he is. And that's why England won't win the Euros either, if we're getting off topic about that. Uh, who else? Uh, Nea Fagged. Wow. Nea Fagged came straight back into the side because that's one of Moyes' favourites, even though he was linked to a move away and he probably would have been a stronger link to a move away if he wasn't at AFCON. The guy's awful. The guy is awful. He can pass it between the lads as a centre back, but the guy cannot defend. The guy got absolutely fingered by Rasmus Hoyland today, and he just skidded on the floor. And I'm tired, man. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing him. And everyone was saying, drop Zuma as soon as Aged comes back. Well, Zuma was way better than Aged was today. Zuma wasn't bad today, in fact. Even though I, even though I would have dropped him for today, I would have put Ogbonna and Maverick Panos. I'd play Ogbonna and Maverick Panos next week, even though Zuma was good today, and I like Zuma, but I wouldn't play him next week. I wouldn't play again next week either. Um, we're not going to win against Arsenal again, uh, this, like for the game against for the game next week, and I'm sure everyone will be fine with not winning another game for the next ten games because listen, this is your manager. You back him. This is your manager that says, "Oh, well, we're in Europe and we won a European competition." Nearly what? How how long has it been? Six months, seven months, eight months. About around eight months. Um. No, that's not right. Six months. I don't know. Um. So I'm sure it's fine for all you all you people that want to stick with this manager. Um. I'm sure you guys are happy with this. I'm sure you guys don't give a shit about this season because we won a trophy last season. I'm, that's I'm, listen. That's what you're fine with. That's what you're fine with. I'm done. Uh, I don't feel like I don't feel like there's any point in hoping this season because the the transfer window is uh, 
has hindered us by a lot. As much as I didn't want Ben Rahman for I was at this club, I wanted replacements as well. We didn't get those. So Maxwell Corner is going to suffer on the bench and just come on. I'll probably make a few more appearances, then leave in the summer. He'll go down, he'll go down with players and loggers. Haleya Vlasic, um, Skamaka. Uh, who else? You know, players that either we didn't use properly or we didn't use at all. Um... So he'll go down with players like that. Ben Johnson's going to get a new contract. I'm sure you guys will be happy about that because he's through the academy, uh, even though he's shit. Uh, I'm sure you... Uh, listen, I wouldn't be surprised if Aaron Cresswell gets a fucking extension. I don't want to see that guy play. I, I know Cresswell didn't play today, but I just thought I'd just point that out. Um, the only position that I'm happy with where a guy comes in for another guy and I'm like, cool, that's fine. It's goalkeeper. I'm fine with Ariola and Fabianski. I've got nothing against them both. Uh, hopefully Ariola's is okay because I'm sure he would have taken a bit of a knock from that Zuma thing. I'm surprised he got up straight away. That probably would have been why he came off because he may be a bit dizzy maybe. But apparently it's a precaution substitution, not a thing substitution. But I think the reason why they didn't do a concussion substitution is that Moyes wasn't going to make that many subs coming off the bench anyway. If, if we had lost the game, I don't know why did Divine Mubaba didn't get pity minutes or Danny Ings. Like, I don't know why Danny Ings got dropped from the Sheffield United game even though I wouldn't have wanted to sign Danny Ings in the first place. I didn't want Danny Ings in the first place. I didn't want Danny Ings to play at all. I was Danny Ings sold in the summer. He deserves to keep his place after the Sheffield United performance after being out of the match. Ward Prowse is not a 10. Uh, I've said this a million times. Alvarez, Ward Prowse, that's it. Just play them two together. It's not hard. Um, especially when Pacquiao comes back, just play Pacquiao. Alvarez, Ward Prowse as a midfield. I have Alvarez sitting in front of the back four. I have Pacquiao, Ward Prowse going that way. And uh, that's what we did at the start of the season for a bit with Suchek, Ward Prowse, and Pacquiao. But we seem to just throw that out the window for some reason and gone back to the standard rigid 4 2 3 1. And uh, I'm tired of this season. I am tired. Um, I want this season to end. And I know people are going to be like, well, you are in European places. Yeah, I am. It, and yeah, my team is in a European place. Uh, but I have expectations now because we've been in Europe now and uh, this is tiring. This is tiring. This is boring to watch. We have a one in six games. We have a one since the Arsenal game. Um, and we've got Arsenal again next week. And if we win now, I will be extremely, be, I'll be extremely surprised. And uh, yeah, that's what I've got to say. Uh, we got fingered, doggied, all those words that you can use. We got all types of that today. Jesus Christ. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new. Social media is in the description if you want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram and TikTok and an email for the inquiries. See you guys later. Goodbye.